Watch, idiot celebrities demand gun control, Pat Sajak gives them brutal reality check. When a tragedy unfolds in the United States, the elitist Hollywood crowd is always quick to lend their unwanted opinions on the matter, and Sunday's mass shooting at the Route 91 Harvest Festival in Las Vegas has been no exception. Idiot celebrities were demanding gun control even as dead bodies still lay in the streets outside the Mandalay Bay Resort and Casino. However, Pat Sajak just gave these misguided liberals the brutal reality check they so badly needed. Celebrities love to comment on everything from national elections to natural disasters, but their favorite way to give the public their unwanted opinion is to politicize a tragedy by calling for further gun control measures in the wake of a mass shooting. They do it every time, without fail. Perhaps the most notable of the celebrity responses to the mass shooting in Las Vegas came from late-night comedian Jimmy Kimmel, who broke down on his television show on Monday night, saying, It's the kind of thing that makes you want to throw up or give up. It's too much to even process. I don't know why our so-called leaders continue to allow this to happen. Or maybe a better question is why do we continue to let them allow it to happen? Conservatives were left rolling their eyes over Kimmel's comments and the remarks of other progressive celebrities like Ashley Judd. Wheel of Fortune host Pat Sajak was equally unamused. OK, let me explain this again, we're celebs. We're wiser and more empathetic than you. We are famous. Please take our opinions more seriously, Sajak sarcastically tweeted. OK, let me explain this again, we're celebs. We're wiser and more empathetic than you. We are famous. Please take our opinions more seriously. As the Daily Wire reports, this is not the first time Pat Sajak, a political conservative, has lanced the celebrity bubble of leftism that pervades Hollywood, his resume should have been a warning to leftists that his wit would target them. Sajak is an external director for the conservative publishing house Eagle Publishing serves on the board of trustees at Hillsdale College, and has served on the board of directors for the Claremont Institute. Indeed, Sajak can always be counted on to lend some sorely needed perspective on any situation concerning celebrity hypocrisy with a sarcastic tweet. Another point in response to Jimmy Kimmel's comments was made by conservative commentator Ben Shapiro, who remarked in a video on Tuesday, Jimmy Kimmel should not be cheered for what he did. Jimmy Kimmel should be asked to provide the evidence for his suppositions rather than the evidence for his emotions. Shapiro added, I believe he's sincere. Sincerity does not make what you're saying smart. He continued, last night, he did a long shtick about gun control that was entirely based on emotion and it was really nasty. It was really nasty. I don't think it was nasty because he doesn't care. He cares. It's really nasty because he's suggesting that you and I don't care, according to The Hill. It doesn't matter that you lost sleep last night and I lost sleep because of what happened. It doesn't matter that we're all heartbroken over what happened. We don't agree with Jimmy Kimmel's evidence less suggestions about gun control. That means that we don't care. We are bad people. You want to know why the country is not unified? It's because of stuff like this, Shapiro continued. It's not because we disagree on policy. We've been disagreeing about policy forever. It's because there are certain people in the American public discourse who feel it necessary to impute bad motives to people who disagree and that's what Kimmel's doing here, he said. Common sense is hard to come by in Hollywood, but Pat Sajak has it by the barrel full. Please share this report regarding his response to his fellow entertainers in Hollywood because we cannot count on the mainstream media to do his job. Please share the story and tell us what you think by clicking one of the buttons below. We want to hear your voice. Your voice.